afternoon Rex here Wednesday February 12th 2020 the epidemic continues thousands new every day and it appears that at least where we are in the US of A it's not really an exciting issue there's only a couple of cases and but you get the idea, but it doesn't make it any less exciting for what's really going on. So let's take a look at what's really going on. And I have some interesting uh, things to report and an interesting path we might take. Since calculations show the potential for huge, widespread, major issues that are either going to happen in the next couple of months or it's going to hit a block and it's not going to happen in the next couple of months. No spoiler alert there. Yeah, one of those two. Um, can't we have something in the middle of the road? No. Anyway, so that being said, I went to the doctor today. I went to a kidney doctor to find out if I had any kidney problems. I probably do, but all they did was said, here, take this, uh, take, go get these tests, and uh, come back and see me in a month, and we'll figure out what we're going to do. So, eh, we'll see. That's not the important thing. You go to any doctor's clinic, and I've got to go to about three of them in the next month for different things of just, you know, Coming along. I wasn't met by anybody who asked me any health questions. They got the normal questionnaire to fill out for a uh, doctor relationship. But other than that, you know, no, have you been to China? Uh, nobody's wearing masks. Nobody's wearing gloves. Nobody anywhere from the parking lot, the graders, the uh, uh, up going up and down, the doctors, nurses in the hall, uh, the, the people that took my information, even the examination room, the doctor herself. Um, not a single pair of gloves and not a single mask. I'm sure hand washing was adequate for uh, adequate measures and I'm glad that they do that. But uh, that's not my point. Nor is my point that I think that they should have been. I'm reporting that they're not. And so I mentioned it at, at, at casually saying, I guess it'll be a while, pretty soon we'll be seeing that. And the uh, ones that I spoke with answered in the affirmative, yes, it's only a matter of time, we'll be all doing that. So they kind of know, but I guess as I go to the next one in a couple of weeks and then the next one in a couple of weeks, I don't think it matters where I go. They'll, the response will be somewhat universal. So we'll see what that is. But right now, it's just, come on, we know the numbers. They're not fake. It, what they, they are what they are. Um, you can't report you, you know things that you don't know. So in other words, if uh, somebody comes to the hospital, they don't know if they have flu, they don't know what they have, they got a whole bunch of extra flu cases, some of them leave, some of them don't get admitted, some of them, whatever, there's no official diagnosis. Do you need an official diagnosis? Well, kind of, yeah, because here's the, here's the thing. They're not telling you this is how many people have it, this is how many people die from it. What they're telling you is, and please, you know, add this if, they, if you don't see it in the fine print. What they're telling you is, these are the numbers that have been reported. They're not saying that the people that reported it knew anything about what was going on. They're just the, the addition of facts that added up and ended up on a piece of paper somewhere. It has nothing to do with the actual number of people. Most to tell you, uh, most official, anyone will tell you that the, the actual number is bound to be higher because they themselves are aware that they're reporting to you the number of reported cases that have been recorded reported and recorded reported doesn't even count recorded does so it's, it's you only have what you have you can't go back in time and make people file something that they didn't even know existed at the time or didn't think it was that big a deal whatever back then it may have been so it yes the numbers are wrong yes the numbers are much much higher and yes they continue to rise at an alarming rate and no there's no protection going on as of february 12th 2020 and i think it'll be fun to document what the changes are over the next couple of weeks here in the united states by the way um valentine's day is friday today's wednesday uh, yes i went and got some a bouquet of flowers for the lovely Miss Peggy. Don't tell her about them. She doesn't get to know about these until Friday. She likes lots of different colored stuff, so I'm hoping that she will like those a lot. Yes, I truly am hoping that she likes a lot. Go get something for your sweetheart. She'll like it a lot. She loves you. Um, I'm sure of it. I asked. God bless you. Rack's out.